Hi guys, welcome to our channel. I'm Vi and together with my husband we are Vi Chalky Furniture. Today's video, uh, in today's video we'll show you how to transform ordinary uh, mom chest of drawers into a Minecraft chest of wonders. Uh, if you like our video give us thumbs up and subscribe and if you don't uh, also give us a thumbs up and subscribe and let's get rolling. Okay, to complete this look, you will need obviously mount chest of drawers, a uh, chalk paint of your choice. I used uh, Amsterdam Green of Anne Sloan. Obviously, you will need brush, uh, prints that you want to put on your uh, piece, um, Mod Podge, um, iron. Uh, did I say brushes that you need? You need brushes as well, yeah, that's very important. And uh, greaseproof baking paper, and obviously wax to, to seal your piece. And I will link everything in the description box. Okay? First, I took the drawers out to paint them separately from the body of the chest of drawers, because they need to dry quickly so I can put the mod patch on. While the drawers were drying, um, I painted the body of the chest of drawers. Your first coat doesn't need to be neat. Um, I just wanted to go for a smooth finish. That's long um, strokes just to smooth out the paint a bit. Unfortunately, drawers were not drying quick enough, so I had to use my hair dryer to speed up the process. Now the drawers were dry and I could apply Mod Podge. I used the brush and it was a mistake because I had to take the hair out all the time. But you can use a um, sponge applicator. It's much easier. Just make sure that you apply even layer of the Mod Podge for the whole draw. Mod Podge is white, but it dries clear, so you don't need to worry. It won't be visible. And now time for the second coat. Um, and again, I applied my paint in every direction, but I, I tried to smooth out a bit because I was going for a smooth finish without any brush strokes. Remember to get rid of all the build-ups in, in the corners and edges as you go so you don't have a problem later on when it dries. Now get your iron ready, set it on the lowest setting possible and turn the steam off. Uh, put your picture on the 
drawers because the Mod Podge is dry already. I covered it with the grease proof paper and I added it on. Just remember not to put it upside down like I did because I had to sand them out and <laughs> apply them again. Double check all the corners and edges that, are, that they are stick to the drawers and if not, just iron it again. As you can see, some of the pictures were a bit narrower than the drawer, but don't worry, we'll mask them out. They won't be visible. The same the spaces in between the pictures. Now well, it's time to apply the um, coat of the Mod Podge on top of our pictures to see the project. This uh, Mod Podge acts as a top coat as well. Uh, you may see some bubbles appearing, but don't worry, because uh, when the Mod Podge dries, they will disappear, and if not, we will add in the mud. To get rid of all the excess that we had, just get some sandpaper, I use 80 grit and sand them off. They will come off really easily. If you don't have the sandpaper, just use the file. Unfortunately, some of the wrinkles and bubbles did not disappear after the dry, so I have to iron them up again. Now it's time to finish up the drawers. Uh, I use a small artist brush to paint the edges, and I did not use the masking tape inside because uh, I decided to wipe in the paint will be much easier and I should play the masking tape. I painted the fronts as well to cover up differences between the width of the drawer and the width of the pictures and if you think it's too much of the paint you can always wipe it off. This step is optional, uh, but I wanted to have a really smooth finish, that's why I used the sanding paper, 240 grit, and I sanded the whole piece. To see the whole project, I used the clear wax, Vastelion, and I used a really, really cheap brush, cheap brush from a b and it's actually a paint brush, but I cut off the uh, handle, so it's very good to apply the wax on a new piece. Just remember, as soon as you apply wax, you have to wipe all the excess off and then you could see if you missed spots or anything and then reapply your wax. And now you can see the reaction of my, my boy. I think he liked it. I'll leave it for you to judge.
Okay, that was easy, wasn't it? Uh, thank you for watching and remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you like the video and uh, love you lots guys and bye bye till next time. Bye bye!